if I could just get back to what I was saying. Anyway, so my aunt bought this cat, which I think is actually a distraction from her loneliness. And the cat is really... You've stopped listening to what I'm saying, haven't you? Let's dance the night away! And say outrageously unfounded personal opinions as if they're solid facts! And have really deep conversations with strangers and forget their names afterwards! People are super scared of me, but I'm actually just a cute and cuddly little puppy in need of some love. Okay, this is gonna be hard for you, but try to communicate with me completely logically, with as few abstract connections as possible, and leave emotions out of it. You just don't understand me. In the slightest. But by all means, keep trying to. It doesn't annoy me at all. Oh, I see you've stopped listening. Again. Can you please come back down to Earth? There are important practical matters to be discussed. Even though important practical anything is an oxymoron. Interesting question. I once read that... And so that's how he got arrested. Don't you ever get sick of being so positive all the time? Surely it must get exhausting. What are you hiding? Creativity. That's no room for that. The only room we've got is the one that I intend to trap you in for the rest of your life. Doing meaningless menial tasks and expecting you to somehow find fulfillment in them. That was a close one. Where am I? I just refuse to bite on like any abstract thought that you throw out there. Our lack of a shared perceiving function means that we're probably never gonna understand each other, but that's okay. Yes, it is. No, it is okay. Could you please just stop trying to understand me? Why do you have to understand everyone? My tunnel vision is stopping me from seeing all the awesome possibilities. <sighs> what tunnel vision? I'm an excellent listener. Go on, share your ideas with me. Don't get too comfortable though, because at any given moment I could cut you to your very core by pointing out that none of your ideas are actually going to happen. Which they aren't. Hey, I know we've just met, but... Do you want me to show you around the metaverse? Nice. So at the end of the real Little Mermaid story, the one that was originally written, she doesn't even end up falling in love with the prince at all. In fact, she ends up meeting a pretty tragic demise. is really robust, it has a lot of feathers, it's really furry. Cats don't have feathers, Kristen, that's not something that you should probably put into the video. Thankfully this part is going to be muted out, so it's not going to actually matter in the grand scheme of things, I think. You've stopped listening to what I'm saying, haven't you? <laughs>